probably one of the things I really enjoyed growing up generally is that my parents really used to go out to these various she's different. talking about how I really want to go home. Yeah, like, so I can't wait. I can't wait to yeah. go home. We, we used to go up to Holden quite a lot oh, no, and just and walk along the trails, sometimes cycle. And and I don't <laughs> think we're very lucky to have grown up in such a beautiful place. Yeah, I really miss it. I don't really love it, yeah. but I don't know where to come and sit. But it's a lot more than It's more of a feeling and an expression of contentness and satisfaction. And like this is where I want to be for the next few minutes.
most your time in your home And I, I don't want to be My earliest memory is sitting in my granddad's car and it was really nice. It had like white leather seats and nice like wood varnish on the door. Granddad taught me how to ride a bike. I didn't learn until I was six or seven because I overanalyzed the risks too much. Having lots of fields as my garden uh, was pretty fun when you're tiny. Riding my bike down to the local village, playing in my treehouse for hours on end. A hundred different ice cream flavours. Going to my grand's on a Wednesday night for a roast dinner. It didn't feel like any time at all since I was that little kid in the audience wanting to be part of that. Pappy John was always whistling and singing songs about not putting your elbows on the table. He called me Little Mouse even when I was 18. Every time I remind my mum about this event, she bursts out laughing because I don't think my granddad was very happy. My granddad's always been amazing. He's one of my favourite people on the planet. Um, and they're some of my favourite memories.
easy back then. I think I've always felt a sense of nostalgia. There are moments in your life, it doesn't matter what your age, that you look back on. In year seven, it's not that different <laughs> from primary school. And already I was like, looking back fondly, acknowledging the difference in time, which I think is something you do more as you get older because you just notice it more with not all that much to do and you can recognise how you go through different versions of yourself.
photographs really mess with my perception of early childhood memories because I'll see like a photo of me as a toddler and I'll it'll become familiar that image will become familiar to me and I'll and it will feel like I remember it 
no but wild stimulus for it, no big cinema screen, no not like nothing really encouraging it, just your own head, your own space and your own time, and nothing else really matters at that moment. And I think when you're younger, you look at it from such a different perspective. Magical dogs. Which I think is something I do more as you get older because you just notice it. We had like a trampoline and a platform and then we had like a trampoline and a plastic slide in our garden. And in the summer, the summer was fresh. One of my childhood memories is the ability to just let go and have fun in your own head and I think that's a beautiful thing. Sing that song then. Thank you. 